Hi, and welcome to Live with Connie. Today, my guest store is Barbara with Crochet Therapy, and she is coming. She had a little bit of technical difficulties. Her laptop was being really pokey connecting. So she's going to try to connect from her phone now. So she should be here shortly. So anyway, I'd like to welcome all of those that are that will be watching on replay today. And if you if you do watch on replay, please leave a comment to let us know and feel free to answer any questions in the chat that we ask on today's live. And let's see, we have Nadine here and Alice and Kelly and Crystal and Deneen. Hi, how are all of y'all doing and what are y'all currently working on? And let's see, Nadine says that she hopes I'm doing well, and she's asking about my husband's surgeries. Well, um, we're still waiting on the surgery. Um, we really have no idea how long it's going to be. I mean, it could still be months down the road, possibly, you know, like six months. I don't know. <laughs> because we waited, a, we waited a long time for the first surgery on his, on his, um, his first leg so it's just a waiting game so ho hopefully it's not too too much longer okay yay barbara's here backstage let me put her up i'm here hi, hi. it's so <laughs> good to see you so good to see you it's so good to see you too <laughs> uh, finally i had to get on my phone my laptop it's not worth anything. <laughs> How are you doing, Connie? I'm doing good. Now, one thing you were saying, you might have trouble seeing the comments. Now, yeah. for, on stream, you are, it'll, it'll be on private chat by default. And if you click okay. the tab next to it, it'll, I think it says chat. That's where you want to be at. Okay, let me click chat. <laughs> Thanks for all the instructions. This is my first time. <laughs> I started thinking about that. You hadn't used StreamYard before. No, I've never done that before. Oh, I see everybody here. Hey, there's Chris and Native Wind and Kelly. That's awesome. And let's see, and Alice is here. Okay. She's, she's one from your channel. So I oh, welcome Alice! <laughs> <laughs> I want to welcome you, Alice. And... <laughs> I hope I hope you like my channel and you like our live today. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. Um, how is my? Are you getting feedback from me? I had to take my um, my microphone off because it didn't allow me to hear your voice. So, is everything okay? It sounds good to me. Do I sound good? Um, okay. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, I'm so excited to be here and I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. <laughs> I still get nervous every time I go live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see, we also have Margaret and Chris here. And nice. How are y'all doing today and what are y'all working on? But yeah, um, I, I think Barbara was the first Yorny friend I made in the YouTube community. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> can I tell can I tell a little story about you? Sure. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a good story, okay? So I first met Connie when she was on our um, Facebook group. Um, the crochet therapy Facebook group and she started posting photos and her husband would, you know, wear the items and everything. And everybody was like, Hey Frank, Hey Frank, you know, and Hey Connie. And we were like, just so over the moon about these two. They're just an amazing couple. And, um, Connie has just like taken off with her craft and everything and i'm just always so impressed with all of your works connie yeah, thank you. but you're welcome but it was frank that wearing your items your handmade work and the two of you together that's what just made everybody in our group fall in love with you and we just you know everybody was like there's frank he's wearing connie's 
you know, whatever, like the scarves and the hats and, and um, it didn't matter what it was. There was even like the poop emoji hat and he's like proudly wearing it, you know, that's what made everybody fall in love with you and who wouldn't want to come and be a part of your channel. So anyway, that's just the first time that I met you. I just thought what a cool couple. So <laughs> You know, actually, I was about to talk about how we first started meet, you know, how we first met and all. Yeah. Like, like yeah, ev everyone seemed to fall in love with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> He's popular in Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? It's his willingness. Well, first of all, he's just got those cheeks, right? <laughs> and it's just his willingness to wear whatever you make and have fun with it. And people can see that on him, that he is just enjoying it and having fun. And, um, you know, most husbands would be like, I'm not wearing that. Don't take my picture. You know, and they're not fun. <laughs> but your husband is a lot of fun and, and people gravitate towards that. And then it was funny because I was in your Facebook group and then I, I discovered your channel, but I didn't realize the connection at first. And all of a sudden I'm seeing the, your picture, you know, it, you know, in your Facebook group re responding to my post. I'm like, hold up, that's the lady from that channel I watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I remember the first time you mentioned me and Frank on one of your lives, I was like, oh my. She shouted us out, and, and this was before I had a channel. Yes, that's right. That's right. And I remember, too, when you first started your channel, you were, you know, obviously everybody is extremely nervous, a little bit, you know, is it going to work? How is it going to work? What's going to happen? Everybody has all of these questions because if you've never had a channel before, there's a big learning curve, you know, and I'm still learning um, I mean, because look, this is the first time I've used StreamYard, <laughs> which I <laughs> am loving, by the way. But so thank you for like walking me through all of this, too. And, um, you know, I just remember telling you, just be yourself. Just talk to yourself, you know, because we can see our face. Just talk to yourself like you're talking in the bathroom mirror and <laughs> it'll be natural. And you are a natural. So uh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Which, um, like, at, at first, like, I, I, I struggled a lot. Like, I can tell the difference, like, between, like, my first video and now. Right? <laughs> Me too. Me too. My first one, you know what I... I did I tried to write it all out and have it in front of me and I was so nervous I would miss something that I would be reading you know what I was supposed to be saying and it was making me more nervous so once I threw that paper out out the window and I just started talking from off the top of my head it it goes a lot smoother because then you're more natural and it's like having a conversation yeah and 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 you were one of the first people that I told that I was thinking about starting a channel. If you may have been the first one, I think. But yeah. I remember I that. Almost a year later. <laughs> right. You're coming up on a year. That's just blowing my mind. It really is. The very yeah. End. And like yeah. one of my goals, which I don't know if it's going to happen, I was hoping I could get monetized by the end of the year, but... I think you I can do know. it. I think you can do it. We're going to push it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to push it. I remember last year, I tried to get monetized by the end of the year. And I, you know, I, I begged. <laughs> and I told people what my goal was. And everybody rallied around. And they really helped me. And I did it. And I think you can do it, too. The funny thing is, I think, like, uh, I should have the watch hours. But... I don't know if I'll have, have the subscribers. Okay. Where are you right now with subscribers? 755. You're going to do it. Listen, girl, you're going to do it. You are. <laughs> that is so close. If you have the watch hours, watch hours is really hard. And I don't know if you remember, but last year I lost 100% yeah. of my videos, which also lost me all of my watch hours. So I, I didn't lose my subscribers, but I had to 
get all of my watch hours from scratch. And I was just, you know, it was devastating at the time. And then I just decided, okay, just, you know, take a deep breath and we'll just make it work. And everybody rallied around and helped me and they're going to do that for you too. Let's, let's just watch. Did they you are. Ever find out why you lost all your hours and all? No. And um, YouTube did not ever respond to me, so I have no idea. Yeah. The only no thing idea. I can think of is didn't you take like a month break or something? No. What I did, I, I think what happened, honestly, this is what I think what happened. I had gone to um, a big hospital in Gainesville and um, to um, be there uh, with my dad. Um, he was just there. It was like the doctor's offices, right? It was a teaching hospital, so they have doctor's offices. And I was in there and I used their Wi-Fi, their public Wi-Fi. And that morning I had all of my channels and I was watching my latest video while I was sitting in the waiting room. And then when I got home, they were all gone. And I think somebody hacked me um, oh, through yeah. the public Wi-Fi. So it's kind of a joke in my family, like whenever you know, I head to a doctor's office with dad. My husband will say, don't get on their Wi-Fi, you know, because, um, you know, I, we just don't know. But I really think that's what happened. Is that that, like, is that happened something that, like, if you take, like, a break from your channel, that if, if you're not constantly uploading, that you can lose some of your, you know, stuff for your channel? I don't know how true that is. Yeah, I don't know. The um, if you, well, if you take a break, um, I, I've known several YouTubers that have taken a break, like a month long break, and then as long as they don't lose their subscribers, obviously that one month of watch time is going to lower their, um, uh, you know, lower their percentage or whatever. But I think that they can come back strong. Um, you know. I, I've heard that people who post every day or multiple times a day actually don't do as well as people who have like a schedule, like, you know, a couple times a week or, you know, even once a week, they do better because people are waiting for that content and you're not overtiring them with your face, you know, basically, you know, <laughs> so that's what I've heard. Um, and, and I've, you know, with YouTube, they have the, the different, videos that you can watch that will explain things to you. And I'm still learning all of that. I, you know, I can't even really read my, um, <laughs> you know, all that, all those numbers and everything, they don't always mean anything to me yet. So I'm still learning. <laughs> Let's see. Kelly says she's working with fingerless gloves. Awesome. Ooh, I, I love I, fingerless gloves. I haven't tried doing gloves yet. Oh yeah. I, I made fingerless gloves from Jada and Stitches and um, they were so addicting and so fast and easy that I made like 20 pairs all, you know, all in a row. And I actually sold some a couple years ago to my office workers because my coworkers, because it was 68 degrees in there all the time. So this way they could type <laughs> and still have gloves on. <laughs> And Alice says she's baking a mindless dish cloth while, while watching. Yay. Also. Alice, that's <laughs> awesome. Okay. Alice. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, Alice, um, over the summer, I made mindless dish cloths all summer long. And I would come in every time and I would show a new washcloth and she'd go, oh, another washcloth, <laughs> another dish cloth. And so that's kind of a, a funny. She's just. <laughs> She's being funny there. And let's see, and Vita and Lorelise here. Hi, how are y'all doing? And Kelly Hi, Vita. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Oh, and Chris loves it too. <laughs> yeah, this is a hat I knitted last year. And look, you got a tail. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Is that your design, Connie? No. It's very hat. cute. Okay. It's a pattern I found on Ravelry. Nice. I it's love it. All the black cats. <laughs> yes. It's kind of Halloween and kind of not. Right. It's like, it has the blue, which I love the blue color with it. 
If, yeah. if I would have done like orange or purple, it would it would look more Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I love it. That is awesome. That's really cute. Yeah. You can even wear that at Christmas because it has the blue. It's almost like a snowflake design. Yeah, I have the um I'm taking out all my Halloween makes from last year. And I'm, yeah. I'm wearing a Halloween hat in all my videos. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Connie, how do you make hats so quickly? You are like Speedy Gonzalez. I don't know how you do it. I don't, like hats, I can usually work up quicker. But like bigger projects, sometimes I feel like I take forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you finish all of your objects. I don't finish all of mine. <laughs> It just started pouring down raining. <laughs> oh my goodness. It did? It's raining there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it Frank's out on a waiter delivery for Frank. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Put a, I just missed a comment. I scrolled too much. <laughs> okay. Alice wants to know what watch hours monetize means um basically when you have a youtube channel in order to get monetized which is where youtube starts to pay you but like from my understanding even once you get monetized it, it still takes a long time before you really make anything off your channel because yeah. i think ella from no catchy name Said, like it took her six months after getting monetized to draw her first check. Yeah. And yeah. like you got you gotta earn like a hundred dollars before you can draw your first check. Yes. So that basically means it took six months to earn a hundred dollars. And she's right. She's right. It took me forever to get the first and only check that I've ever gotten. <laughs> so you know, I don't, I'm wondering how you get the second check right now. <laughs> but, you know, it's true. It's not, um, so the watch hours, you have to have 4,000 watch hours in, um, and then you have to have 1,000 subscribers. And yeah. it's, um, you know, it's, it's challenging, but it's doable, but it's challenging. And really the only way you're going to make money to like make a living is if you have over, a hundred thousand subscribers and you have a million watch hours or something, then you might make some money that would be like a very low income <laughs> amount, you know, uh, very low, <laughs> but otherwise it's just, um, you know, it's just yarn money, <laughs> not even. <laughs> or it could help like for shipping on giveaways or yes. things for giveaways. Um, yes. But yeah, that's basically, now, the, the one nice thing is they are on October 12th, those that have over 500 subscribers are supposed to get get a community tab. Oh, good. Instead of having to wait till you have a thousand. A thousand? That's wonderful. Oh, good. Good. I didn't see that notice, but that's wonderful. I, I do like my community tab. I do. So that's really good. Because, I yeah. mean, you can share stuff going on with your channel on it. Um, like, say you're supposed to go live and you can't, then you can, like, post that, with, which I may not be able to go live Monday. I'm about to tell y'all about that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. But, um, or, like, you can share, like, giveaways going on on other people's channels or things going on on other people's channels. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. That but, would that would be very helpful. Yeah. But yeah, um tomorrow not not tomorrow, I mean Monday, um, I have I realize I have a doctor's appointment at ten forty five. So uh um I don't know yet if I'm gonna cancel my live Monday or try to do it later in the day. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean you never know, do you? Because you could be stuck in that doctor's office for hours. Well, Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! And it usually takes a while, a while with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like I could try to reschedule, but it would take at least a month. Oh wow! Yeah. And like, like the I had rescheduled the last time, and it took two months. <laughs> mm. 
Might as well somebody. just go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The same one that Frank's waiting for his surgery with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Kelly's saying, I watched Fiber Spider tutorial and they are super easy. He has a knit tutorial for them as well. As well. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember what we were talking about to do with that. <laughs> Fiber spider. Um, okay. Fiber spider is really, really easy to follow. He is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's referring to beanies. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. I know. Um, this is this is different. Um, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. But when oh, Gloria, I... Gloria's here. Hi, Gloria. <laughs> And um, Gloria wants to know if your if your pumpkins are real behind you. No, <laughs> that's a green screen. Yeah. Basically, I have like green fabric behind me, mm -hmm. and I take an image, and it basically it filters out the green and puts mm -hmm. the image in its place. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. Let's see. Gloria joined us, Lisa the Grammy, and let's see. Oh, and Lisa was coping with yarn. Nice. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Anvita. Hi, I Gloria. That, I think that's everyone. Okay. How, how are y'all all doing today, and what are y'all currently working on? Yeah. And let's see. I think I think I told Laura Lee hi already. If not, hi Laura Lee. <laughs> hi Laura Lee. <laughs> she said I just I just found up a knit baby. But I just something about a knit baby blanket. I have been working. Oh, she must have just found it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Been for three months now to catch up on the Simpson Turnpike shawl cow. The weather is okay. kicking me. Don't feel good today. Oh, I hope you feel better, Laura Lee. Yeah. Oh, Laura Lee, um, is the alien beanie coming along better now that you, you did the white yarn <laughs> with it instead of black? I don't know, you know, I know you said the black was giving you trouble. <laughs> and speaking of um speaking of that, I I did finish a knit beanie that I designed a, a few days ago. Um, I still need to write the pattern up, which will probably, I should have it written up within the next week. And I do still need two more testers. So if anyone's interested in being a tester, let me know. It's a color work with a graph. So, you know, I need someone that can either do color work or they're confident that they can do it. Or should be able to. What is color work? Is that where you change Basically, colors? Like, this is color work. Okay. <laughs> nice. And like, I you know, am wild. not a knitter. So. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's awesome. You are so talented. I mean, I look at that and I'm in <laughs> awe. You know, I really am. I'm not a knitter. I can knit, um, or I used to be able to knit and purl. That's about it. <laughs> But that just, um, it's like a mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love color work. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things. Well, I really prefer doing it in knitting, which uh -huh. you can, you can do, do it in crochet too. Um, which now with crochet, I love doing the waistcoat stitch, which mm -hmm. looks like the knit stitch and knitting. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know. For some reason, co like color work, I prefer doing it in when when I knit. Okay. Um, now maybe once I get more experience with crochet, because next year I, I am wanting to do my first grafting ad. So that's Ooh. gonna. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a nice project to attempt. Yeah. So that's gonna get me more comfortable with more mm -hmm. color work with crochet. Yeah. Like yeah. I've done a, I've done a little with uh 
like beanies and the waistcoat stitch and crochet with color work. Like yeah. the alien beanie. <laughs> that was adorable. Yeah, it was. It was so cute. Thank you. I yeah, I tried a graph gan once and with all of the different um, color changes and, and there weren't that many colors to change, but it was like change, 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 change. <laughs> it seemed like every, you know, three blocks because I did the C to C um, graph can and I just, I wanted to cry. So I just tore it out <laughs> and stopped. That's what yeah. I want to do with the corner to corner. But yeah. it is like, because you're not going straight, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, okay, how exactly is this going to work? Right. That was my challenge because it didn't make sense. The color changes didn't like work straight across. So, you know, you would be working row, like when you started row nine, but then also row one. And it, I just couldn't wrap my mind around it. So. <laughs> yeah. And actually now, um, I do have the, um, the crochet version of the alien beanie that's okay. going to be coming out soon. Nice. So there will be a crochet version of the alien beanie. <laughs> nice. And, um, and actually speaking of aliens, um, you know, you, well, you were the one that, that told me about how to, how to do the merchant, the merch. Right. Store. Right. So, um, I decided, you know, I would love to have like an alien picture or merchandise. Oh yeah. And um, Lisa with coping with Lauren, her daughter is working on drawing me up something. Nice. So that's, it's gonna be, you know, she did a rough draft, and it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's wonderful. And if anyone else would like to like, you know, draw something up for me to put mm -hmm. on merch, it, that would be awesome. Because yeah. I would still like like other pictures with aliens, like something yarny related with like a ball of yarn, crochet hook, knitting needle, you know, cute. <laughs> <laughs> that would, would be like, so amazing if you had like a, a bunch of aliens sitting in a knitting circle and all knitting something. <laughs> <laughs> or so crocheting. If, if anyone is good at drawing and want to try to draw something, let me know. You know, send, send me the yeah, send me a picture of a drawing. You know, <laughs> and I'll put it on merch. <laughs> <laughs> and another idea I had too for merch, like if so, so someone that's good at drawing people, or even if they oh. do it like kind of like court cartoon cartoony mm -hmm. looking, like mm -hmm. draw a picture of Frank. Like that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you could take a photo of Frank and then um, cartoonize it like it, in your too. phone and then put it, you know, with him like wearing a hat or something like that. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> But if there's any artist that would like to try to draw a picture of him, let me know. <laughs> that would make some cute merch. <laughs> I love that idea, Connie. And you, with you and Frank, and with people that just, you know, think Frank's amazing, put his face on, right in the front of your shirt. Oh, my goodness. And, like, something like, where's Frank? Or something like that. You could start a trend. Everybody be like, where's Frank? Who's Frank? Where's Frank? <laughs> <laughs> then they'd all have to come to your channel and see it. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> let's, let's see the comments. <laughs> let's see. Denise says her finger fingerless gloves are a big seller at craft sales. Mostly offer, office workers buy them. Awesome. Nice. And Lorley says, is that how you say it, bound off? I guess you mean like, what, um, you, you're referring to casting off knitting needles or? But nor normally it's uh, like casting off, bound off. Um, I think there's a, there may be another term for it. <laughs> Lorley says, is that kitty cats on the hat? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. Super cute. 
tail, Lorley. And a, and a little tail. I love the tail. Oh my goodness. You could do a hat for every occasion, you know, do a red, um, like an orange kitties and white kitties and black kitties. And um, you could even change the color, make it like a calico. Yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. Let's see. Um, hey, Gloria. Gloria. My, my channel is called Just Another Stitch. Yes. And I hope you decide to check check it out, check out my videos. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to see you. Gloria is from the UK. She is over in England. So. Awesome. Yeah. And Kelly says, says it only takes her a day or two to make hats. Depending, wow. on, depending on how much I crochet each day. Nice. Yeah, um, usually with hats, a hat I'll finish within three days. That's nice. That's so nice. Sometimes I can get it done in one day. It just depends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I made this hat. Um, this is my original hat, and I made this in three sizes. And I had my my granddaughters try it on, and they were super cute in it. Of course, you know, they're little and they're adorable anyway. But this one I really had a lot of fun with, but I didn't do a tutorial on it yet. Um, but I did like it. Um, I won't put it on because this one's a small one. <laughs> but I did it in three sizes, and it was really easy. And course this is with my favorite hobby lobby yarn so <laughs> let's see lisa, lisa says that she's sitting in her truck crocheting while her spouse is fishing again oh good that's the best of both worlds isn't it because you get to sit in the truck and like you know watch the river or wherever he's fishing and enjoy the outdoors but also do your own thing while he does his own thing I love it. Let's see. Hopefully he'll catch a fish and you can have dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Lisa says she's working on a unity score for her aunt. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and you know one thing, too, like when we were talking about corner to corner. Mm -hmm. Now, um, like when it comes to tutorials, I recommend your channel. Oh, thank you. Um, she did a scarf pattern. Um, yeah. I think peppermint. Yeah, um, it was. I find she, you know, Barbara here has like the best tutorial. To thank you. Uh, corner to corner. Thank you. I, I wish you would have had it whenever I first looked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I, I love the corner. Especially oh, I'm sorry. Starting off, it's like you mm -hmm. didn't know, like, because it's like that that first little section. It's like it flips on you. Which okay. way, right? And which way to hold it, right? That's well, and that's the thing. Like when I am crocheting, I need to know these things, and I feel like I need to share them also because you know my little tips and tricks. You know, always have the tail down, and that will tell you, you know, which way. Because when you're starting, and it's a little tiny triangle. You really don't know. It can get very confusing. Which way, where you go? Where do you go? <laughs> it, yeah. But like once you get like once you get to a certain point, it's mm -hmm. it's easy. The little point to point point up. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It it does. And um, so thank you. That was really sweet. That was really sweet. I have had people tell me that they didn't understand corner to corner until they watched my tutorial. So it would be in on my channel in the tutorials under, um, it, well, I think, what did I call it? The uh, candy cane stripe? I can't remember what I called it, but it's a red and white stripe. And obviously you don't have to change the colors. And like on this scarf here, this is the corner to corner scarf, but I just used yarn that changed colors naturally. So I just let it flow. And um, I love this one too, because I love the colors on it and the way it changes, um, the way it changes colors. And I just let it do its thing. This one was easier than the other one because the other one, you had to change colors every you know five rows or so. This one, you just keep going until it's done. But that's always fun, yeah. yeah now, like the corner what is to the corner tutorial 
that board we did, it was around last Christmas. So if y'all look for it, look around yeah. that time. Yeah, it was, and it would be in the playlist for um, the 12 weeks of Christ Christmas crochet, and then also um, just under the playlist tutorials. So if you do that, that makes it easy. Yeah. Now, Connie, what do you think a unity scarf is? Is that like a, um, is that a scarf that um, is connected? Is it? Um, I'm, I'm not completely sure. I would think it would be connected. Yeah. Sounds really pretty. Let's see, we have Julie here. Hi, Julie. How are you doing today? Hi, Julie. <laughs> and what are you what are you currently working on? Okay, Lorley, uh, Barbara's channel is called uh Crochet Therapy. And nice. this is her link right here that Crystal posted in the chat. So oh, yes, thank you. If y'all haven't checked out Barbara's channel, check her out. She is awesome. Y'all gonna, you know, I'm sure y'all already loving her from today, but y'all gonna love her. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I just saw where Alice and Gloria both corrected me. <laughs> it's Wales, not England. <laughs> Sorry, Gloria. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But yeah, Bar Barbara's good with tutorials and and I don't know, like, I always love how she is on her lives because she just seems to be so calm and oh, thanks. I mean, she's, she's, you're like so smooth. Oh, like, thank you. I'm so natural for you. <laughs> Some days I don't feel smooth inside, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but then too, like, I know like a lot of times, like, I, I feel like, oh, I feel so nervous. I feel like I, I'm, I'm not doing good today. And then like, but you know, when I talk to other people, they're like, I didn't notice it. I'm like, yeah. okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I think we feel it more inside than what it yeah. actually shows. Well, I was nervous about doing StreamYard because I didn't know, you know, am I gonna be able to, what? what? <laughs> I never did it before. So I was just like, wow. It's, it's really not difficult, and especially when you're coming live with someone up on someone else's channel. Yeah, but if you go live from StreamYard, there is a little more involved. Yeah, yeah. Which, um, like I go live from StreamYard. Right. I wonder if I could use my tablet and go live. I I bet I could. That would my tablet's a little quicker than my laptop. So, which like um. And I know you can also do, go through YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. I never have gone through YouTube. <laughs> Even whenever I would go live by myself. Um, but I know like Crystal, the Yorny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady, the first time she tried to go live, she tried from YouTube and she had problems. Oh. And then she switched to StreamYard and it was fine after that. Oh, that's good. Good so, to know. <laughs> So it's like after after that happened to her, I really didn't have the desire to, to do YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Gloria, Gloria says, I'm okay. Thanks. Just doing acorns for my Halloween autumn things on my wall. That's and like, awesome. And I, I love seeing like all the holiday projects and just hearing about it gets me excited. I know. Um, me too. And speaking of which, for those that don't know this already, I do have some upcoming videos, and one of them is fall themed. And this is where you like any of your like home decor, like if you're decorating your house for fall things, not, uh, fall or Halloween, you can take pictures of that. You carve your pumpkins, you know, those pictures. Or like yeah. anything like, you know, like the beautiful fall foliage, you know, nature pictures of fall. Right. And, you know, if you send those pictures to me, you can email them. Um, I forgot to put my email up. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing right now. But okay. you can either email me your pictures or post them in my Facebook group. Nice. And on um, October... 25th 
I'll be doing a video for that. Nice. Then um, if you have finished project pictures, you know, well, finished projects and you take pictures of them, <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing a video for that on October 15th. Nice. And um, I plan to do it every month on the 15th. So get y'all finished project pictures to me so y'all can be included on that video. Um, then November 1st, I'm going to be doing another pet video. So oh, y'all yeah. can send me y'all pet, y'all pet pictures again. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But if you send pictures for the last video, send different pictures for the new video. That way it's yeah. not the same pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't, if you didn't participate last time, this is your chance. <laughs> yep. This was your chance. <laughs> Show off those fur babies. <laughs> And I, I loved like, you know, the, the pet, uh, the pet video I did, uh, what was it last week or the week before that one was awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really fun. I love sending you photos. So <laughs> okay. Laura Lee says with a graph game, what you can't carry, you put on a bobbin. Yes, that I found that intimidating too, but that was just me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kelly says, Barbara, I threw yarn in your window. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> Here it is. Look at this yarn. <laughs> Just to say, never manic mama Mussing's husband, LJ, can draw good. Yeah, I think uh, Lisa was telling me that, too. I need to send her an email to see if maybe he could try to draw something up. <laughs> cool. That's nice. It's always good to have an artist, you know, on your side when you're working on this. Yeah. Denise says, I am using twisted tassels for the first time on my keyhole score. Um, what is twisted tassels? I know what like regular tassels are. Yeah. Well, like with crochet, you you have your hook in the loop and then you pull up um, three times the length Oh, where's my camera? Here we go. Three times the length of what you want your tassel to be. And you just start twisting and twisting and twisting until it gets really nice and tight. And then you go back in and do a single crochet. And then this, you um, straighten that out. And then when you straighten it out, then it twists. And it does just this nice little twist. And um, it's really kind of cool. I used to have one with a twisted tassel right here, but I don't think I have one right now. I would have to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is pretty cool. I like that. I like the twisted tassel. Yeah. And a keyhole scarf. That's really fun. I've not ever done a keyhole scarf. I think I want to do one this year because yeah, then I, you don't have to worry about keep wrapping it or whatever, you know. I have been kind of interested in some of the, the, those toys. Yeah. That looks cool how they connect. I know. It really does. Okay. And Alice is saying, I guess she's referring to you, Barbara, that you're funny. You talk and talk. <laughs> and she would run out of things to say. I know. I do. I just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> and oh, very, thank you, Alice. <laughs> you're very soothing to listen to. <laughs> and Gloria said that she thinks Alice uses my voice to go to sleep at night. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And, you know, I think it's true because I'll be talking to my husband while we're going to sleep. And all of a sudden I hear and he's snoring. <laughs> I'm like, you're not even listening to me. <laughs> so I don't get mad. I know <laughs> he's he's hard worker. <laughs> He can go to sleep with my voice. <laughs> Frank falls asleep whenever I'm talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Well, at least then you know they're not listening. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't know if they're listening or not, but when they're snoring, you know they're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go ahead and ask the first question? Sure. 
Okay. Um, now I just wrote a little note of what it was about. So, cause I, you know, you had messaged me on my phone. So what do you think about, what is your opinion and thoughts on the self driving cars? <laughs> You go ahead and answer first, and then I'll answer after. Oh, you want me to answer? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whenever I ask okay. a question, I answer first, and then you answer. Gotcha. Okay. I got to get the rules down, Connie. <laughs> and everybody out there, if you have thoughts on this, too, what do you think about the self-driving cars? Well, for one, I'm thinking the Jetsons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like the through the sky and everything. And I'm wondering why can't they fly? <laughs> but I think, I think they're a good thing, but then I'm a little weirded out and I don't think I could ride in one with it, with the machine being the driver. I think I would be like, let me have that wheel. <laughs> let me like, take it over, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, y'all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Do you have water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my anxiety wouldn't let me ride in a self driving car. <laughs> now, I think they're fine for other people as long as, you know, you want to ride in one, go ahead. Not for me. <laughs> I'm leery about them. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, they have to be around a lot longer for me to trust them. Yeah. Um, because one, you know, are they are they going to malfunction? What about right. people hacking them? And, That's what I was wondering, the hacking part. And um, then, like, another thing, too, like, how would that really work? Like, do people still have to have driver's license? Or like, you know, what if there's an accident? Who's at fault? Oh, good question. Fault? Oh my gosh, good question. Or you really like, thought this out. <laughs> <laughs> or like, for instance, like you know how some towns they re especially rely on the revenue from cops giving tickets and stuff. Yeah. Well, that would hurt those towns because more than likely. <laughs> There would be no more tickets. Right. Or, right. There would be... or if there would be a scenario, who gets the ticket? <laughs> oh, yeah. we just ran a red light. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, who? Yeah. Like if there's two um, driverless cars and they get into an accident, who do you sue? The company? I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of but, funny. But I did see on the news the other day, and this is what made me made, made me want to ask about the self-driving car thing. There's a trucking company that's starting to do it. Oh. And they're, they're, they're fixing to put their, their rigs on the road, which that's kind of scary because rigs can do a lot of damage when they get into an accident. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, we have Elizabeth here. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing today? And what are you currently working on? But yeah, raises a lot of questions. <laughs> but it makes you wonder, like, you know, how things are going to be in the future with, like, technology and... And let's see... Yeah, Alice says, I wouldn't do it today, but once they are well tested, it has possibilities. Yeah. Oh, and Laura, Laura Lee says, I don't want to see a driverless vehicle coming at me. <laughs> and Alice says, being a nervous driver sounds cool to me. Yeah, like if they could get it where like there's no issues. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah. it would be awesome. But yeah. I just, I just don't see how there's not going to be malfunctions. Yeah. And Kelly makes a good point. She says, oh, heck no. I've had many computers go crazy on me. And look at my computer. It was so slow. I couldn't even get onto StreamYard. I had to go on my phone. What if your car doesn't have any pickup and you need pickup because you got to get out of the way of something, you know? <laughs> and I know, like, like, kind of like how they have the electric cars. 
and I, I heard someone say this, and this this makes a good point. Like um, like with hurricanes and stuff, like when people are evacuating, how do you charge your car? You can't. I mean, people are, people would just get like stuck on the highway mm -hmm. because their car ran out of charge trying right. to get anywhere. Right. And, and like, and there are a lot of cities that are having brownouts right now too because of um you know the the electric grid is just overloaded so you know they're how would you charge your car i don't know and then like one thing too when you evacuate from store for for storms there's not many places open no so i mean unless it's a case where you know kind of like gas i a lot of times you can still use your debit card even though the gas station's closed maybe like you know you can still plug your your car in at a gas station but still bumper to bumper traffic stuck in it you may not yeah. get to that next gas station in time <laughs> yeah yeah and gloria says they haven't had enough testing for me exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is another good one too many deer antelope and elk elk on our highways i don't think so yep I think you had read the one that Alice said, like having my own chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Laura Lee, I think you read hers too. Don't want to see a driverless vehicle coming at me. Right. Me either. <laughs> Laura Lee's like, one computer sues another computer. <laughs> yeah. How would that, that work? And look who the loser would be. It would be the humans, right? It would be us. Okay. Gloria is saying that she's having trouble hearing me. Is anyone else having trouble hearing? Oh, I can hear you. I'm hearing you. And I have noticed, like, I'll get, like, one, one or two people that sometimes have trouble. But then others, you know, like, whenever I ask, usually everyone says they hear me falling. Yeah. So, I know sometimes I wonder if it could be um like certain devices. Could be. Let me see if that helps any maybe. And Laura Laura Lee says if they were in, in, in one way tun tunnels or something. <laughs> Is Alice say, says I sound a bit muffled, but she can still hear me. Okay. She says I hear great. So I don't know. And I don't, I, it's like, I don't know how to make my audio better. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about getting one of those um, earbuds that have the uh, microphone in it so that I could hear as well as speak um, because I like to have, I like to use a microphone, but I'm not using one today because my microphone only is only one way. So I, when I plugged it in, then I wasn't able to hear you. Um, but I was thinking about getting one of those earbud things. So I've seen people use them or sometimes they'll use the, the double that has the, um, you know, the two way, they're kind of expensive. So I haven't bought one yet. But yeah, it's like, but I mean, I even find when I listen that I sound kind of like, I don't know, echoey is kind of the, the, the right word, but I do notice, but you can still usually, you know, you can still hear and understand me. But I right. do notice, like, the audio on the lives isn't uh -huh. like it is whenever I do a regular video. Right, right. And it's like, and I've, I've played around some with settings, and I've even tried looking, looking it up, and I don't know. Yeah. It it could be um oh goodness. 
Oh, goodness. You just put something up that Kelly said. Oh, wow. She saw a movie where someone hacked one of those cores and locked the person in and was going to crash and then kill the person inside. I think okay. I saw that movie. Yeah. Okay. No cars for me then. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And like another thing too, like when it comes to like the sound quality, because I know like some devices you can make go louder than others. Yeah. So that could, so I, I don't know. But does it sound better now? I hear you perfectly fine. Yes. Morley says she needs a, a, a wireless set of speakers. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, and even like that, the, the smart houses and stuff, it's like, in some aspect, that's neat, but I still, I still don't completely trust the technology. Right. Right. Okay. Kelly says, my sound is loud enough, but at times it's a little gorgled. Hmm. But yeah, if anyone knows of things that I can do that might help improve the audio, like send me an email. Because like, like I said, I, I've been trying to look things up. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I have a feeling that maybe one of those two-way mics, one where you can hear and and you know speak, that might help. But um, and maybe I'm sounding okay because I'm on my phone, and the phone is more geared towards you know a clear voice. Are you on your laptop? My uh, desktop. Desktop. Okay, and that might be it. I don't know. Did your desktop come with a microphone, or is it an outside microphone? Is it a separate uh, microphone? I think it's an outside microphone. I think it's like built into my web camera. Gotcha. Yeah. I had to buy a separate web, web camera. Okay. Yeah. But like whenever, whenever I get to a thousand subscribers, I do want to see if going live from a phone, like if that would do better. Yeah. But I can't do it until <laughs> a thousand. Right. I don't understand that. I know. I know. But if I go live with someone else's channel, I could technically do it from a phone. Which I haven't done yet. I may yeah. try it next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. And that's why I had a hard time with um, doing lives before I got to a thousand because I was using my laptop and you see how, you know, you saw how slow it was. I couldn't even get on. Um, but then once I got to a thousand and I started using my phone, that's when I started doing more lives. I didn't really do a whole lot of lives because even my laptop, the internet would go out and I would just, you know, lose all my peeps and oh, it's a struggle. Yeah, because whenever, <laughs> at first I was going to try my laptop, which I don't think my laptop could have done it. Yeah. Because yeah. it was it was slow, right? I think there would have been a lot of lagging, <laughs> right? Right. Well, let's see. Jill's here. Hi, Jill. How are you doing Hi, today? <laughs> what are you currently working on? <laughs> Kelly says, "I know I don't really want one of those cores." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Glory said, "I'm out." <laughs> Yeah. So let, let's move on to the next question. Okay. What Halloween projects are you making or plan to make? Well, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, um, y'all know I started on another Halloween beanie that I'm designing the pattern for, which I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to tell y'all what it's going to be. I'm leaving that in suspense until I finish it. And I have another Halloween beanie that I'm hoping I can design after that. Mm -hmm. um, 
I may try doing something with socks with um for Halloween. Depends on if I have enough time before Halloween hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how about you, uh, Barbara? Well, I don't have anything that's strictly, you know, Halloween, but I do have some cotton yarn that is black and orange. And then I have other like black yarn. So I um, and it's cotton. Um, so I was thinking about making some dishcloths in that, you know, Halloween color kind, kind of so that, um, you know, so that we could use them around, but I'm not good with, um, like little mo motifs or little designs like that. So now last year I made my husband a little chibi chubby that was um, Frankenstein. And that was really Aww. cute. Actually it's on his table over there. He asked me to make it. I was making little chibis for, you know, all the grandchildren. And so he asked me for Frankenstein and that was really cute. That was a Jada in stitches pattern and it was super quick and used just a little bit of yarn. So, you know, if you had a little bit of green, black, and I think silver for the bolts or something, and then you were good, you know, so that was fun. I might do one of those for the grandchildren. So, cool. yeah. yeah. Look, I know um, Melissa with crochet, um, Melissa with Melissa crochets with love. Uh -huh. She had um, sent me some number one weighted yarn oh. that, that's Halloween colors mm -hmm. in a giveaway I won from her. And I would love to like make, make socks with it. Oh, nice. I would nice. Love to try yeah. To, yeah. I would love to try to design something, but I don't, I don't know. Like we've only knit, I've only knitted one pair of socks so far, so I don't know if I'm there yet with doing my own thing on socks. Right, right. I think you could do it um, if you <laughs> if you did the sock just you know like a normal the normal way with those Halloween colors, and then you know if you did the black and then put some pumpkins on it or you yeah. know something like that. You're good, Connie. Uh, you don't give yourself <laughs> enough credit. You could do it. And and the funny thing is, like whenever like I was thinking about possibly starting to to design patterns, mm -hmm. at first I, I was kind of like I don't know if I can do it. And then people are like, I've seen what you make, you can do it. And I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> have faith, have faith in yourself. <laughs> yeah. And let's see, Alice has to go. I hope you have a good weekend, Alice. Bye, Alice. Hope you have a good weekend. And Jill says she's struggling not to take a nap. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that that was me ye yesterday. Um, like my back has been really hurting me the last few weeks. Yeah. And like it'll it'll get to where the pain, like I just you know, I end up napping because. Yeah. And like yesterday, that that's what ended up happening. To yeah. I was like, I crashed. Yeah, yeah. But I wish, I wish my back would stop bugging me. Oh, it's yeah. That's a struggle. I need a new back. <laughs> Anyone want to trade backs? <laughs> and let's see. Gloria says I've done Halloween and pumpkin wind, wind spinners. Ooh, that sounds cool. I'd love to see a picture of them. Mm -hmm. The acorns I have leaves from last year. Nice. Oh, and Lorley has to go too. Have a great yeah. weekend, uh, Lorley. Bye, Lorley. Kelly says I'm going to make more slipper socks and fingerless gloves for gifts and hats too. Nice. Awesome. One thing that, like, I don't know if y'all ever saw. This is knitted. Um, Morley Bird has like these slipper socks. And one of these days, I'm finally going to make them. <laughs> I, I attempted at one point, mm -hmm. but like I couldn't, like, because she does them on the, the, um, the double pointed. But I think, oh. I, I think I'm going to try to do it on circulars now that I've mm -hmm. knitted a pair of socks. Because I should be able to just adjust the adjust it for that. And I think yeah. that would work. I hope. 
<laughs> but I don't know when I'll finally get to making them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Jill says, I just finished the wind spinner. Um, Need to make something to hang on the bottom. Awesome. I've not done a wind spinner yet. Have you, Connie? No. Oh, I think we need to get on this bandwagon and make <laughs> at least one. <laughs> I know this person uh, has been making them. Yeah. But yeah, um, I haven't done them yet, but that would be cool. Yeah. I might they look to pretty make, easy to do. Oh. I might try to make some for next year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to get some bird feeders too one of these days. These are all the bir pretty birds and stuff that comes around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Attract them to come around more. <laughs> <laughs> we have a woodpecker that comes around. There's an owl. There's ducks. Um. And then, like, um, I guess, like, the red cornels. Oh, yeah. Type birds. Yeah. And I don't know those are the actual. I just know they're blue and red. <laughs> pretty. Pretty. Yeah. And then we have squirrels that come around a lot, too. And it's funny. We don't live in, like, the type of area where you would expect this. No. Are you in a, a more, um, you know, urban area? It's more like subdivision area. Granted, like my block, the, the businesses have mostly taken it over. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. But, nice. but it's like, but it's not like I live out in the country where you would expect it. Right. Yeah. But uh, let's see. You want to go ahead and ask the next question? Sure, sure. I'm going to skip to one that I, I'm very interested in. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long do you usually do your lives? Um, usually I go about an hour and a half. Okay. All right. Good to know. Um, okay. Is there a catchy jingle or, um, you know, an advertisement that is stuck in your head or that you still know all the words to? from like when you were a child. And um, so for me, um, that would be the Band-Aid song. <laughs> and it's the one, I am stuck on Band-Aids because Band-Aids stuck on me. <laughs> it's that one, I don't know why, but um, it's so funny because before you, uh, before we said, you know, okay, let's get together. This song has been, this little jingle has been in my head for a couple days. <laughs> I'm like, could you just go away? <laughs> How about you, Connie? Where's the beef? <laughs> Where's the beef? Right? Right? Or, or the one of uh, the Zest song. Um, I think it's back from like the 80s. Zest fully, zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that one. Oh my gosh, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. How about um, all of our viewers? Uh, you know, do you have a jingle that's stuck in your head? We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish like Wendy's would, would kind of bring back the um, where's the beef. But I don't think that lady's alive anymore. She She's not. She's not. Oh, Kelly says, to all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> I remember that one. Or the, oh, the Big okay. Mac filet of fish, quarter pounder, french fries, icy coke, thick shakes, sundaes, and apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And let's see. Kelly's saying... I need to make a wind spinner, a wind spinner too. They're basically giant worry, worry worms. And I've made ton of those. Yep. <laughs> and Gloria says, I've got these on my wind spinners, but gee, so hard. Mushroom pumpkin goes to the store on a Christmas one. Ooh, oh my goodness. Nice. That's really amazing. So you have them for all seasons. A budgie is a little bird. I guess that one was really hard for her to do. Mushroom sounds cute. And a pumpkin and a ghost for the Halloween season. And a star on a Christmas one. You know what? I never thought about making it, making the colors um, 
match the season. You know, that would be really cute. Oh my goodness. Like if you did like a, a blue and a white one wind spinner and then put a nice big snowflake on the bottom for, you know, February or January after the, after Christmas, you know, you still want to have some kind of winter theme. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay, Connie, we got to get started on these wind spinners. <laughs> coughing today. Oh, uh, I would give you a cough drop. I have one, but it won't go through the screen. <laughs> I need to get some more cough drops. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we, we said that one already. Yeah. And Jill says it's in there, which I'm trying to, <laughs> where is that from, Jill? I'm not sure. And Elizabeth says I get stuck with with Zest sometimes. Oh wow, Jill's coming up with some good ones too. Those are I don't know that one. Did you check it? What's check. that one from too? <laughs> but yeah, and the funny thing is, I think like back at like the older commercials were more catchy and fun. Yeah, like they were the commercials like they were jingly. You know, you could just sing the little tune and. I know. It seems like the ads today have to be so deep, you know, and make you think. Well, you know what? We don't want to think. We just want to sing a catchy tune. <laughs> you know, some of these commercials nowadays is like, what? Right. <laughs> what, what was doing? that for? <laughs> okay, Prego for the uh, it's in there. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Prego. Yep. And then like like you know like the Jake Jake from State uh, Jake from State Farm commercials, yeah. I love I love them at first like when it was you know calling the call center. What are you wearing, Jake? Jake from State Farm. Yeah, yeah. And those were so cute, but now I don't know. I don't like the Jake commercials they're coming up with. <laughs> they went to the call center. I know. I know. How the I think they overthought the it. Yeah. How the wife go to the call center and be like, is there a Jake that works here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you the one my husband's been talking to at 3 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> mm. Gloria says, yes, each season I'll put them on our group page. I may, I've made them my way, though. That's wonderful. Make it your own. That's <laughs> wonderful. What a neat idea. And Jill said, did you check it with Burger King ragging on McDonald's? Oh, I don't remember that one. I'll have to pull that one up. <laughs> now, you know what I really like on Facebook, the Wendy's on Facebook, they'll, um, and on Twitter, they really burn people. It is so funny, some of the things that they say. And on the Facebook, it'll be like, this is Wendell from Wendy's. And um, and it's always Wendell. And he talks, um, he always uses like capital letters for different words and stuff. And he he's so funny. They really have like a very wry sense of humor on those. I love them. I love them. Frank don't like McDonald's. No. <laughs> it's mostly, um, because, okay, he does the waiter thing. And like, he always complains about the, the McDonald's delivery. Yeah. Delivery, because they're slow. Like he'll right. go there and he has to wait, wait a long time. For Just them to get to, the order. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and they don't, they don't seem to store it on it until the driver gets there. Oh, wow. Well, and, I guess they want it to be hot, but you know. <laughs> and then and then on top of that, like, I don't know, this is something that they, they really need to fix when it comes to waiter. Because evidently, waiter will let them order, like, lunch items when it's still breakfast. Mm. And there's been a couple of times where he took an order. And, it, like, one time it, it wasn't too long of a wait. Mm -hmm. But, like, um... But you know how McDonald's don't don't start cooking lunch until a certain time. Right, right. Well, like 
a few days ago he took an order from them and uh he was waiting a while wow and then then the customer called the waiter wondering where their order was and frank's like uh i'm waiting for them to cook it right right mm. like they, they shouldn't make it available until it's time right I don't know, maybe in the fine print, maybe there's somewhere that does say say it when you go place the order. I don't know. Mm. But, but Frank's like, yeah, now when he gets McDonald's before, uh, mm -hmm. before <laughs> he checks, he's, you know, yeah. and he's like, yeah, if it sits there, if it's, if it's lunch items, he's like, I'm releasing the order. <laughs> yeah. That way he don't run into that problem. Right. But he always gets well, aggravated too because he'll get orders from McDonald's and they take forever. And then he starts getting other orders that come in that he, which he probably could have gotten more orders done and made more money from it. Right. <laughs> right. And that's the thing, you know, his time is money. So he needs to, you know, they need to understand that he needs to go pick up the order and take it so that he's, you know, he's using the least amount of time to make the most amount of money, you know? Ooh. Yeah, time is money. Definitely. Or when McDonald's gets the, the order wrong, they're known oh. for that too. Yikes. Is he, does he check the order or, you know, before he takes it sometimes, or? Sometimes you can check the order, but a lot of the companies, they'll put it in the bag and they'll put a sticker. Right. You really can't check it. So. Right. So then that's between them and McDonald's, right? Not waiter, I would imagine, because he's just the delivery of what they created. So, yeah. But wow. it's kind of like interesting, some of the stuff that happens. Oh, my goodness. Because it's like there was this one lady that ordered and, um, Something happened where I don't think the order went through. I don't think she she did it properly. Uh -huh. She claimed she ordered the day before. Oh, like the night before, no one no one brought her her food. And then some something where she was trying to cancel it, like oh. the next day. Right. Well, well, it looked like she put the order through. So Frank gets the order. He goes brings it to her. Well. Well, he goes to her house. She's not there. And he's calling and, and she, you know, she answers. And she's like, well, I'm not home. And, and she's all like, well, that was supposed to be last night. And so he called Waiter and told them what happened. And Waiter was basically like, you know, she needs to, she needs to call to cancel it. Mm. But they still, they still paid him for the delivery. Oh, good. So, what happened to the food? Did he just leave it, or did he take he it? Let him keep it. <laughs> good. Good. Crazy. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Mel's here. Hi, Mel. How are you doing Hello. today? <laughs> and Gloria says, you know, I can't do some things. I thought I had made ori original spinner frills and bird spinners. I went on online, and they were all over. Oh, no. And it's funny how that happens sometimes, where yeah. like you think you're being original, right? And then you find out someone else did. Yeah, and that is really important to keep in mind when you see somebody creating something who may not have ever seen whatever so and so and so and so made, and they are thinking that they really, I mean, and truly they did create something original for themselves mm -hmm. because. It all came from them, and yet it's not original because there are other people that did it. Um, you know, some artists, some designers get called out for copying, and they really didn't copy. Um, yes, it was similar to whatever somebody else did, but it it was really their own thought process that brought that mm -hmm. out, you know? Yeah. And, and there's nothing new under the sun. So, you know, with knit and crochet, you know, somebody's probably done it they might not be out there on you know 
in social media showing it, but somebody's probably done it. So just, you know, be creative and allow your creative juices to flow and be happy with what you create. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it's funny how that goes because, yeah. and even like sometimes like, you know, you do the same, you know, you, you get an idea from someone else too. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it sparks something. So then you take it a little further, a little bit different. And yet, yes, you saw a creation. Yeah. I think it's, I think that is the way it is in the creative world. And that's where we are. You know, we're in the creative world. We, we feed off of one another's enthusiasm and projects and it sparks this idea and sparks that idea. And I think we just need to give everybody, give each other a lot of grace. Don't you think, you know, and congratulate people when they come up with something like, you know, that's original for them. Let's see, Catherine's here. Hi, Catherine. How are you Hi, doing Catherine. today? <laughs> nice to meet you. And oh, what are you currently working on? Oh, Kelly, Kelly just came up with a good one for the um the last question. My baloney uh -huh. has a first name. It's O S C A H. <laughs> Yeah, that one was oh, a yeah. good one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll be singing that the rest of the day. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Let's move on. Probably ask one more question and then we'll start okay. wrapping things up. Okay. Um Let's see. I, I really have? like the last one that you sent me. Oh, that oh. One. Oh, I, okay. You want me to ask that one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm interested cool. to what, know your answer. What is something crochet or knitting related that you would like to accomplish in the new year? That's the one? Yeah, that I like okay. that one. So what I would like to accomplish in the new year, which I actually mentioned this earlier, um, I would like to make my first graph game. Right. That's um, amazing. And let's see, probably learn more stitches. Yeah, you know, some new stitches too. Um, that's all I can think of offhand. Yeah. I'm gonna find another project that like, I want to do this or right. Hey, oh, how about you, uh, Barbara? Well, um, before I go on to mine, what kind of graph can do you have in mind? Do you have like a design already in your mind? Like, is it, do you have like, you know, you want to do a cat or you want to do, do you have something in mind? I want to do a certain little pig character. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> all right. That's awesome. So for me, um, if you follow my channel at all, you know that I have an obsession with how many whips I have works in progress. And um, they, they bother me <laughs> because I have too many. Like I probably have 20. <laughs> Just Diane. And so my next for next year, 2022, I want to finish all the whips that I have before I start anything new. I just want to finish them, get them all done, and then I want to allow myself to start something new. Now, whether I actually do that or not, you know, because I'm really kind of stubborn and I do whatever I want, <laughs> but that's kind of like the rule that I want to give myself for 2022 is finish all of my works in progress and then I'm going to allow myself to move forward because, you know, by the end of next year, I'm hoping that we will have moved into our new house that we're hoping to build next year. Of course, it depends on the construction costs and everything um, on our homestead property in Tennessee. So I don't want to carry all of these works in progress with me there. I want to carry or have given away my finished objects. So that's kind of where I'm at. I actually have, I actually have five whips going on right now. <laughs> no, I thought you had all finished objects, Connie. I had no idea. <laughs> but I, I will be. I will finish all of them. I know. 
you oh. amazed me how you just finished all your works. <laughs> <laughs> I have my temperature blanket, which that, that's always there the whole year. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm working on two crochet blankets. Ooh. One, one I'm designing the pattern. Nice. And the other one is the, that peppermint blanket. Right. Know? Then for knitting, I was working on a shawl, but I'm taking a break on the shawl to work on um, some holiday projects. Okay, right. And yeah. I did the cast on on a new hat that I'm designing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, <didn't, laughs> I didn't get for it all on that hat. Um, <sighs> but whenever it's my days to knit again this coming week, then mm -hmm. I should have it finished this week. Nice. Nice. I have, a, I have a schedule set up. See, you have it all down. And I am like, I stuff it in a corner. I'm like, what's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is up there. <laughs> I don't even remember what it is until I take them down. I'm like, oh, yeah, I really like this. I should finish it. <laughs> but yeah, Fridays, I usually work on my temperature blanket. Mm -hmm. But I I've been using it as a crochet day the last few weeks because I ran out of the color yarn, which I finally found a good deal. I have it ordered, just waiting for it to come in. Yeah, yeah. And then um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I crochet. Tuesday okay. Tuesday, Thursday, I knit. <laughs> okay. That's a good pat. That's a good schedule. That's really good. Bye, Gloria. Gloria has to leave. Bye, Gloria. I hope you have a good day. And Jill says Billy's mom had liver, too. Billy's to mom had liver, too. Oh, it was a little boy who wanted to eat at a friend's house, but then he comes home, and I think the mom is having liver, and the, and he's like, the little boy is sad, and he says Billy's mom had liver, too. I think that's what it is. Is that what it is? Is that what it is, Jill? I remember that one. It, it, it might be, it might sound familiar, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe if I know the product, it might, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. All these jingles are going to get stuck in everyone's head, uh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think she oh, said it was Flintstone Vitamins. Yeah. Mary's mom had, had liver, liver too. I don't yeah. know. Flintstone Vitamins commercial. I think the little boy was like, give them a Flintstone vitamin and they don't have to eat their liver. I think that's what it was. <laughs> I, know, maybe, maybe, I might have to see the commercial. Yeah. To know. Yeah. Gloria says, I'm, I'm with you about the whips, Barbara, just too much. Too much. Yeah. And it was nice meeting you too, Gloria. Yeah. And let's see. Kelly says, I have to finish mine because it's an OCD thing. Can't leave something unfinished. Drives, drives me crazy. That's not and, a bad trait. <laughs> and the thing was, like, whenever I was, like, younger and a teenager and stuff, mm -hmm. like, I was horrible with my cross-stitching projects. Mm -hmm. Right. I wouldn't hardly ever finish them. Yeah. Oh, I had, like, so many stored it. Yeah. And like, so whenever I started knitting and stuff, I was like, no, I'm finishing what I stored. Right. So I really try to make sure I do. <laughs> yeah. And and so far, I've been successful. I finished all, all everything I've stored it. Right. And let's see, Jill says I need to quit making more whips. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Jill. Me too. <laughs> So, yeah, no more whips. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Monday, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go live Monday. That's what I'm leaning towards. I have a doctor's appointment. So I think I'm going to cancel that live. I, I, I was thinking about just putting it later in the day, but it's just easier to cancel. Yeah. These are places yeah. I don't know what time I'll get back. Yeah. Or how and, exhausted you will be. Yeah. So, oh, 
Hi, Shondell. How are you doing today? We're, we're wrapping things up. Um, I'm making a few announcements and then we'll be saying our goodbyes. Yeah. But yeah, um, and, and like I was saying earlier, earlier in the live, I still need two more testers for my newest um, uh, fall beanie that I made. It's a knit pattern with color work. So yep. if anyone's interested in testing that pattern, let me know. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I now have merch in. I now have a merch okay. store with merch, merch, merchandise. I'm getting mm -hmm. tongue tied. Um, <laughs> and there's like t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, um, hoodies, tumblers, coffee mugs, tote bags, and they have the just another stitch logo on it. Mm -hmm. So check out my merch store. I have the link in my in my Knitting Friday video that I did yesterday. If y'all are interested, and I'm working, I'm I'm trying to find people that are good at drawing, that where someone could you know could draw like an alien to put on a merchandise, like something yarny related with an alien. Um. With like the words just another stitch mm -hmm. so if anyone's interested in drawing something up let me know mm -hmm. i even would like to do one with frank on it the biscuit <laughs> or like like either like kind of like a cartoon looking yeah okay so <laughs> i could draw him type thing yeah so so yeah if, if anyone would like to try to draw, draw stuff to put on some merch let me know um because I would like to do uh, some more with merchandise. Now, um, Lisa, uh, with coping with going, her daughter drew a little alien, like she's working on it. So that will be one that I'm planning to put on some merchandise. But I would still mm -hmm. like some more alien stuff. I love aliens. <laughs> yeah. And then most of y'all know my upcoming videos. So start sending y'all pictures in if y'all want to be included in these videos. On October 15th, there's the finished project video. So y'all can show off all y'all lovely makes. And mm -hmm. I'll be seeing seeing what y'all make. <laughs> yeah. Then October 25th is fall themed. So basically anything related to fall, you know, your home decorations. And... And one thing too, like, I think some people may think like I'm, I'm referring to just like crochet and, and knitting decorations. I mean, decorations in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, storeboard decorations, you know, um, then, you know, or, or like some of your outdoor decorations, mm -hmm. um, pumpkin carving, uh, fall nature pictures, like the fall foliage. Then the other video is my pet video. So if y'all want y'all pets in a video, send those pictures <laughs> in. And I think, I think that's all I have. Um, is there anything you would like to say before we uh, go, Barbara? Oh, just thank you for allowing me to be um, on your channel today. I had so much fun talking with you and meeting all of your yarny friends. It was so fun. And my phone is at 2%. <laughs> <laughs> so I came very prepared for today. <laughs> and so... We're ending it just at the perfect time because I've been I've been watching the percentage go down, down, down this whole time. <laughs> I had so much fun. Thank you so much, Connie. And hi, Frank. It was so good being here. Thank you. Well, I want to thank you for coming live with me. I enjoyed having thank you. you. Thank you. And I want to thank everyone for watching today's live and those that will be watching on replay. And I hope everyone has a fabulous yorny day. Be the light. And bye. Bye.